In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best TikTok settings that you guys could use in the Vinci Resolve. So with that being said, vamonos! Perhaps you want to start editing your TikToks using the Vinci Resolve. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings, the best timeline resolution, the, the best export or slash render settings that you guys could use in the Vinci Resolve. So this is actually pretty easy and after a while this just becomes pretty normal to you. So what you guys want to do is go ahead and click new project. You could call this whatever you want. I'm going to end up deleting this project so I'm just going to leave it the same. You want to click create. Now we have this screen right? It looks so overwhelming at first right? We have film edit trim timeline we have master we have full screen we have inspector we have some colors it's just so much right but in reality it's not that bad what you want to do is go to the bottom right of the vinci resolve and click on this project settings once you have clicked on the project settings you are going to go to the timeline resolution on default it should be in 1920 by 1080 but if it's not it's fine right because we are going to change this number either ways so you want to scroll up and click custom once you have clicked custom you want to change this to 1080 by 1920 so basically we are just going to flip the numbers now the second part is a timeline frame rate if you don't know the frame rate of your footage or of what you have recorded you can just leave it like this because when you drag the clip into your timeline it's gonna adjust it for you so unless you already know what is a frame rate you could get a you could go ahead and just uh just put it down right but if you don't know it's all fine so let's say you don't know the frame rate right so i think we are all done right here so we click save and now you want to drag your footage into the Vinci Resolve. So here you go. This is one of my footage, right? That I have recorded just for this TikTok or for this video. You want to just go ahead and place it into the media pool. Now, like I said, if you didn't know, the Vinci Resolve is just going to change it for you. And that's actually pretty good because for me, I edit and record different types of videos and different frame rates. So... I don't have to worry about changing the frame rate. So basically what it's what this measure is saying is that it's going to change it for you. And once it's changed, you can't unchange it. So that's really key, right? So if you don't know, just let DaVinci Resolve do it and you will be fine. So just click change. And you guys notice, right? That the frame rate was 24 at the beginning. Now it's 60. So now you want to go into your timeline. This is the third tab right here. Drag your footage or anything that you have recorded and you guys can see this is how it looks of course if you just want to make a landscape you could go ahead and just zoom in zoom out zoom in you could just just change it uh positioning and everything like that now let's say you have already edited your tiktok right so like this one right so this is basically me reacting to a video over there at twitch i live stream and usually there's times where i like to react to videos and then I get that segment and just edit the footage down and make it entertaining for TikTok. And it's just easy for me just to even promote my Twitch, right? At the same time. So as you can see, I added this little banner. Got your films underscore HD if you haven't followed me over there at Twitch. <laughs> so basically, this is my TikTok that I edit down, right? <laughs> All right, let me at least sniff your seat. Let me see, sniff your seat. All right, well, then can you at least stand up, please? Can I stand up? Yeah, just stand there. We're going to play a game then. Oh. <laughs> ah. oh, so it's either side. Please, please. <laughs> no way. Yeah, right. So this is just a short 20 second TikTok. It's just pretty funny. Uh, and and yeah, so this is just, you know, everybody's going to have like their different ways to edit down the TikToks probably you just want to add music or just add text and just i did basically everything right i got different layers and uh things like that for this uh specific tiktok uh it just what makes it very entertaining right but let's say you already done editing down your tiktok and now you want to export it but you want to know the best settings right because who wouldn't like to edit their tiktok and come out the best resolution as possible 
So right here we have our render or delivery uh, tab. Basically that means just export. Now right here is basically where the magic happens. Right, We have so much options. I don't think we have even one for TikTok, right? There's not a uh, export settings for, for TikTok, which is fine. So basically uh, what you guys want to do is click custom. Once you click custom, make sure to just name your video, your file, whatever you want to call it. We're going to call this practice, right? Location, just make sure it's somewhere that you could have access to and easy to find. I have it in my videos and I have it on a f uh, folder called render videos. Render single clip, you want to click on video. Format, it should be MP4, right? Codec h.264 encoder uh it, it doesn't really matter nvidia or native it's a 20 second tiktok most of the time right maximum your tiktoks are gonna be like a minute so it doesn't matter nvidia is what it's preferred but uh native it's just it's just fine if you are just doing this for uh for tiktok uh resolution it should be the same resolution as we had right 1080 by 1920 and your frame rate of course this second uh part of this second tiktok i guess was 59.94 uh frame rate so it, sh it should match right if it doesn't match just go ahead and try to fix it in your timeline or something like that but it, it should match quality the best encoding auto i think if you have it on nvidia it's going to show way more options but uh for for the most part this is all right so now what you want to do now is go to add to render queue and let me delete this because i already render it so basically now this is where uh you are going to go ahead and export it right so now what you want to do is click render and it should take a couple of seconds it should even take that long like i said it's it takes 20 20 second clip like the more effects the more overlays and the more uh subtitles or text you add it's gonna take longer but it's just not it's not it's not nothing it's it's just nothing crazy right supposedly it rendered in 15 seconds which is all fine so now if we go to your folder right where you had your stuff like i said this is uh the practice one that we called it all right let me at least sniff your seat. this is let how it looks all right well then can you at least stand up please can I stand up? Yeah, just stand there. We're going to play a game then. Ah. <laughs> so it's either side. <laughs> no way. And you guys can see this is just the resolution that is going to be used in TikTok. So guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As you can see, it wasn't even that much of a change, right? It's just a couple of numbers that uh, after a while you will get used to. And at least now you know how to edit your tiktoks or at least now you know the best settings that you guys can use in davinci resolve so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want me to do a specific video or show you guys how to do something in davinci resolve please tell me down in the comments and i will gladly do it if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to please subscribe and hit the like button and see you guys later take it easy